Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We're in a fun place, and I got my buddy, the Red Beaver. Got a little gum going on. So guys, I wanted to do a little intro video. Tomorrow we're gonna be fishing on the Roanoke River in Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina. We're gonna take you for your first outdoor expedition, hunting and fishing type video with the Red Beaver here and Stony Ridge Farmer. So first we're gonna show you what's going on here on the boat dock tonight. Right now they're getting ready to release like five million baby shad fish into the water. This is a wildlife vehicle and they're getting ready to release the shad. So I asked him if I could film him releasing. He said, nah, you gotta check with the uppers, but that's what they're doing. They're getting ready to release shad into the river. And this river is like 12 feet in the flood stage right now. Right now, normally, this is all rock. Really, really excited to take you guys to a place like this. Those little shad that they're getting ready to release in the water are so tiny. They're tinier than the smallest little piece of rice you've ever seen. They look like little tadpoles, but they're clear, and it looks like just a little eyeball with a tail on it. I think it's gonna be awesome. The fish are up here. They are getting ready to spawn. The water temperature is good. You can see the river's up a little bit, but that means the fish are gonna be spread out. It's gonna be a little hard to find them, but I think I know where they're at. We got a little inside information. So the next time you see us, we're gonna be in the truck, getting ready to drop the boat in the water at 5.30 in the morning tomorrow. All right? Woo! So guys, we're getting ready to get on the road to the boat ramp here. We got Red Beaver up here fixing up on the boat. I know why they call him Red Beaver. All night last night he made like <laughs> noises in the bed. And I'm not gonna say what other noises he made. <laughs> Before we get on the boat, I've gotta take you in this place. This guy has a pet porcupine. Never seen anything like it in my life. You gotta go in here. So this place is called Bargain Land. And it's a pet store, it's a bargain store, and a place where we buy our bait. And here is their pet porcupine. Hey, Niblet. What you doing? <laughs> hey, little Niblet. What you doing? You nibble on people. <laughs> he said it's okay to pet the porcupine as long as you only rub him this way. What a cute animal. Let me get the porcupine show here. <laughs> that is crazy. So tell me about Niblet. Niblet is an African crested porcupine. She is roughly about eight to nine months old. Still a baby. Friendly, just like a puppy dog. Um, the business is back here, but as long as you're not you know, careless, she won't bother you. They can't shoot them out like people think, um, but extremely friendly. So guys, it's a special treat. He's gonna show us the porcupine eating and basically they just eat veggies. He said it kind of just finds a little spot and that's where it goes all the time and you can train it to a litter box kind of like a cat. Pretty cool, never knew this. He said it's so cute to watch her eat. Come on girl. He said you can give her food, but <laughs> do not attempt to take it away. <laughs> He's cute as a button. That's a legal pet porcupine. And here in North Carolina and Virginia, you can have a porcupine. Pretty cool. What a cool place. Red Beaver says, let's go fishing. So we're going fishing. All right, so we made it to the boat dock. We're fishing what they call rockfish or striped bass or striper. And we'll give you a little bit of history on the area and where we're at and what we're doing. It's a pretty neat little setup. Just go until I start floating. So guys, where we are is called Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina. And out here, believe it or not, we're in a huge flood stage right now. So we can actually get up past the rapids. But the rapids were right there. There's a huge bank of rocks and like a waterfall right there. But we're probably, I don't know, 10 or 12 feet in the flood stage. You can see it's so flooded that the dock over here has collapsed. Be careful, B. Just grab that branch, the one at your head level. Yes, sir. All right, top right where your hand's at. So you guys like my GoPro? 
So what we're doing right here with a ridiculous GoPro is we're tying off to this tree branch. And basically we tie off and right underneath this bridge is a rapid where the fish really, really hang out a whole lot. So we're gonna be fishing right here in this spot, just having a little bit of fun. So we'll shoot the drone up in the air and have some fun with that too. All right, today folks, we're on the Roanoke River fishing for striped bass. Uh, down here they call them rockfish, some people just call them rock. Fish on. That's a little male. But that fish has probably swung over 100 miles to get up here. All right, don't even have to touch him. Red beaver release. It's probably a one year old fish, born last year. Probably went down to the sound, spent his year down there and has come up here to make babies. So guys, what we're doing here is we're dragging the bottom with our bait. And uh, basically this is called a Carolina rig. Is that what it's called? That's okay, it. it's called a Carolina rig. You got a three quarter ounce weight with a minnow, uh, about a 12 inch leader on there. And we're just dragging the bottom and eventually you'll feel a fish hit. So right now as we're dragging the bottom, show them the rod tip. So it's bouncing a little bit like this, and then when you get a hit, you can't set the hook like you would a normal bass. The hook is shaped like this and it has no barb on it. So it's against a lot of fishing with the barb. With no barb, it decreases the mortality of the fish when you release them, and this is a big fishery here in North Carolina. Pretty cool. We're gonna try to catch a fish now. We'll just take our bait, drop him right down, right off the edge of the boat, let the slack run out until it hits bottom, about 30 feet of water right here it's on the bottom I'll pull back my slack a little bit but guys this is the time when I ask you please click that like button subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here I appreciate you and it's good to have you this is our first time going off the farm and doing a fishing expedition so I hope you enjoy it if you want to see more stuff like this leave me a comment down there Thank you. We're in the northeast corner of North Carolina, probably about 110 miles from the coast. These striped bass, they swim upstream to spawn in freshwater, but they're actually a saltwater fish. Now, there are striped bass that became trapped when they built a dam up here, and they've become freshwater fish. So it's pretty interesting that these fish can survive in saltwater and in freshwater. Here it is. I had about a one and a half pounder. There went my minnow. <laughs> Pretty fish, guys. Pretty fish. There he is. Nice. Woo! <laughs> fish on. There we go. Oh, that's a good one, man. Oh, yeah. Alright. Got another one? Two? Got it. Thank you. Got it. Yeah. About 15 inches, 16. You guys can see this is just an awesome, awesome fishery. We're just catching them left and right. Oh. Nice to get out with you, buddy. Good time. Yes, sir, indeed. Thanks a lot for joining me and the Red Beaver here today. He's driving the boat, we're fixing to head in. I just wanted to take you somewhere real special with us here in North Carolina. Enjoy this beautiful North Carolina water and beautiful North Carolina fishery. So we'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farmer. Please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. Thanks a lot guys. We'll see you next time. Woo! Well come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wife and bring your kids, we're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! So, Red Beaver. Yes, sir. Is there a pressing thing that we have going on right now? Yeah, there's a matter of urgency on the boat currently. Is there a uh, prairie dog somewhere nearby? Might be a little bigger than a dog. Safe! Now, ladies and gentlemen, right there goes a man on a mission. Catch and release, don't you? You gotta let me release you, boy. <laughs> Let's see.
that's what it's all about right there. Pretty fish. Striped bass. Good, how you? Red beaver. So they're letting wet pavement spread. Cut. Woo! <laughs> 